วัสดีค่ะ and good afternoon Today is Monday, the 13th of December, 2021, and this is the English language summary of the press briefing by the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration, or CCSA. Today's CCSA general meeting was chaired by the Prime Minister, so there are some important updates and points that I'd like to share and to sum up for you today. They include a number of easing measures, and I would go through as well the usual updates that we've prepared for you at each CCSA. As regards the updated categorization of disease control zones, the CCSA general meeting approved a rezoning of the provinces based on the current COVID situation. Effective from 16th of December 2021, which is Thursday, there will be no more maximum controlled areas or red zone. While the controlled areas in the orange zone have been increased from 23 to 39 provinces. The pilot tourism or sandbox areas, which are otherwise known as the blue zone, have also been increased from seven entire provinces to eight entire provinces, with Chonbuli being the latest addition. There was also a bit of discussion on guidelines for the public to observe for the upcoming New Year celebrations. And it was decided that the consumption of alcoholic beverages on the evening of the 31st of December, which is New Year's Eve, to the 1st of January would be allowed until 1 a.m., 0100 hours. It was underlined, however, that this would be allowed in open air spaces under COVID-free settings. For those of you who are attending or plan to attend an event with more than 1,000 people, the participants will need to be fully vaccinated and have a negative ATK test within 72 hours of attending the event under what is called the COVID-free customer measures registration and booking before entering the event, of course, and you would also be required to comply with the COVID-free environment measures. The CCSA general meeting this morning also discussed and reviewed measures related to entry into the country from the 16th of December onwards regarding the quarantine period for pilot sandbox areas for those who are fully vaccinated it will continue to be seven days time also for the test and go scheme international travelers continue to be required to undergo the RT-PCR test upon arrival. Let's turn now to an update in the progress in vaccination in the country. And we have a slide coming up for you very shortly. There it is. Since yesterday, we administered 81,367 doses of the vaccine, which increases the accumulated number of vaccinations to more than 97.4 million doses. That brings us to 69.3% of Thailand's population being having, excuse me, received their first dose and 60.2% or a total of 43.3 million people having received their second dose. Boosters are encouraged, of course, considering the latest news we have surrounding the Omicron variant. As for the vaccination procurement plan for 2022, that's next year, the cabinet has approved a procurement of 60 million doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine and 30 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine, which would all have been delivered to Thailand by September of next year. There are an additional 30 million doses of the Novavax and Covavax that are currently under negotiation. Let me turn now to the general situation in the country for today. We have a total of new confirmed cases logging in at 3,398 cases.
So it's good news for us here in, in Thailand. It brings our accumulated total up to a little over 2 million cases. That's 2,172,044 cases. New recoveries are outpacing new confirmed cases, happily, uh, and we have that number logged in at 5,467 cases. That brings our total recoveries to 2,101,326 cases. Unfortunately, we continue to record new fatalities. That is the lowest number yet in a while at 23 cases. Some updates for you on the detection of the COVID-19 Omicron variant. As of today, three cases of the Omicron variant have been confirmed, according to the Ministry of Public Health. As you know, and as we reported to you at the last CCSA meeting, the first case was detected in a U.S. citizen who traveled from Spain, then to Dubai, to Thailand, and the other two who had not been confirmed are now confirmed um, to have the Omicron variant. They were returning, or they have returned from Nigeria. I understand all three are doing well. And until now, there has been no report of a local outbreak involving the Omicron variant. As I close for today's briefing, let me share with you a couple of good news stories with our audiences at home. The first is that according to the 2021 Global Health Security Index, Thailand has ranked fifth among 100 category of detection and reporting. These rankings cannot happen without the continued cooperation from everyone involved, and that's all of you listening in at home. And so thanks go to all of our friends for that ranking, as a matter of fact, as we will continue to need your cooperation to follow universal prevention measures, which includes wearing masks, social distancing, frequent hand washing, and of good news is that we continue, of course, to cooperate at the country level with friends near and far. And the latest example of such cooperation is a donation from China of the Sinopharm vaccine that was in country arrived last week, at the end of last week. So we extend our sincere cooperation and appreciation actually to our our friends from China. That's all I have for today. Let's keep up the good work, everyone. And through this holiday season, please take extra care and stay safe. Swadika.